take a look at this water. Look how clear it is. It's beautiful. Look how clear. And cold. We're here! The water is really cold. Those poor kids lost their ball out there. They're trying to make their way out to get it. Look how green and clear. Just absolutely beautiful. Nice pier. Oh. Right underneath that waterfall, there's a uh, swim up bar. Maybe with any luck, we'll be able to hit that at some point this week. Evening is here, sun is setting, look at that. With that pier, it's quite beautiful. Hell, good morning to you. See here, got sweatshirts on. The sunshine state is sunny, but it's still chilly. Dad, will you shut this umbrella? Under 50 degrees right now, it's nine o'clock in the morning. It is a beautiful morning. Going on a little walk here, gonna check out the bay. We can't be but 100 yards or less from the bay here. And just taking this corner, it gets really windy. Look at this beautiful, clear water. Maddie was in there yesterday. It's only about a foot deep right here. She found a bunch of hermit crabs. Came over to Destin's just a couple miles away from where we are. Harbor Walk Village, this is called. Got a Coyote Ugly, Margaritaville. Let's take a walk down to the water. I'll see if I can get Maddie to hold the camera out when we cross over the bridge, heading back to the campground show you Crab Island and the beautiful, absolutely beautiful water. Be huge. It's all shops and restaurants and all kind of charters and things you can rent along the waterfront. Here's some of the rental boats. There's a speed boat. The thing holds, looks like it holds 100 people. And there's the pirate ship. We'll try to take a closer look. Dolphin cruises, glass bottom boat. Here's that pirate ship you can go out on. Just joking. There it is, actually, right out there, heading out for a cruise. The Buccaneer. Of course, all your fishing charters. You got zip lining here. Harbor Walk Village. Some food trucks lined up. And there's those two down there. So we're still trying to decide what we want to do. We each have our own opinion, so we'll come together. There's the buccaneer again. Look at all the pelicans. Searching for fish. They probably hang out here because all the fishing boats. Still not a cloud in the sky. Got some street vendors and things also. I don't know that the video is going to do the justice here. But that water's gorgeous. Over that bridge is where our campground is. Look, they got one of those pedal pubs, but it's a boat. They have them in Raleigh, but of course they go on the streets. Plenty of jet ski rentals too. 
course, they have wetsuits and things. Of course, there's a beautiful charter there, but look at this little ice cream boat. Look, dipping dots and stuff, they're probably heading to Crab Island. You even got an option of glass bottom uh, manual powered boats. All right, we just booked the Sea Blaster for Wednesday night. Trying to find a magnet for the fridge. Look at this one. Going. Some penguins. Here we go, shrimp tacos. Try it. The side of the campground here, they got a uh, disc golf. Not a course, but you know, if you want to practice, they got three of them. And there's Rick's right through there. That's where we just ate. Decided to stop by the Air Force Armament Museum. It is wild, full of planes. this planes and helicopters and missiles as far as the eye can see all the way around this building b52 look at the size of this thing here's a blackbird I mean look how thin it doesn't look any more than maybe five foot from top to bottom. Fifty-five foot wingspan. Just a couple highlights. You got to come here, though. This is amazing. All the way to this tip. Look at that. Wow, is that not wild? How do you like to be the guy that has to sit there and? do the firing and of course you have your jets here F-15 look at the size of these rounds as I'm sure most of you know Everyone got into the war effort. So this M3 rifle was actually built by General Motors. Here's an airborne battlefield command control center. Almost looks like a, you know, like a shipping container. I'm sure it's much more reinforced than that though. Got a bunch of robots over there too. There you have it, great museum. Best of all, it's free. All right, back to the camper. Oh, oh, oh. these two, oh God, that's cold. These two have decided they wanna go over and look at these abandoned boats, see what they are. Oh my God, it's cold. Very clear, but cold. They're a little ahead of me. Trying not to splash too much because it's so cold. Uh, all right, we're around the corner. Here's one boat. I guess it must, I don't know, a hurricane or something must have put them up here. And people just abandoned them. I mean, the registration sticker says 2020. I guess maybe they could be high tide that would get it up here. Hey, was that a wig? Oh, it is. It's a wig. Oh, it's a wig. Yeah. Came around the corner of the boat, it's and this wig. guy's just standing here. Look at him. I am ten feet away. So we have to get back to the campground. 
and we're a little afraid to get by this guy here, we've decided to walk around him. He's not budging. Oh my God, look what I found. This is probably from like cavemen or something. Look, like an original shoe. I don't know, it could be. Well, the sun's on its way down. What's the time for? Well, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> it's time for a no-brainer IPA from Victory. Let's give it a taste. So if you're an avid first-time RVers fan, you'll know I'm not a fan of IPAs. But I bought this 15-pack that had four of each flavor, so this happens to be one of them. Yeah, it's an IPA. I don't know what it is. I can take the sour, like I like that uh, sour monkey. But this IPA, it's, it's sour, but it's just, I guess it's more bitter rather than sour. Just not an IPA fan. So as you can see, we are doing a heck of a lot of things here. So we'll probably just end the video now, pick back up tomorrow with a new video. I don't want to have these things run too long, but I do want to show you some of the things we're doing. So hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, give us that thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Subscribe, share with your friends, give us some comments. Love reading the comments. We're going to do the tip of the trip probably in one of the last videos rather than do like one each video. So for this trip, that tip of the trip is going to be probably in the last video. All right. Thanks for watching. We will pick back up with a new video soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.